Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we'll be looking at a function in Autocong 2.0 called Purchase Request. So before we continue, do like and subscribe if you feel what we do here helps you and your business. Okay, back to the video. So let's say for example, a purchase request is usually used by users to place items they would like to order. So to do this, all we just need to do is come here, Purchase Request, click here, select a blank template, and then from here we can start keying in, say Request by Dex. Yes. All right. Then here we can actually select what are the items that you would like to request. So let's say medicine A over here, and we can even select what is the quantity here, eleven quantity. So here we have one called creditor code. So from a user perspective, they can actually predetermine which supplier they want to order this product from, or if they don't know, they can just leave it blank. So let's say we leave it blank. Then we select second item, mechanical pencil, and here I want one hundred. And I want to have um, this supply called Esper. Alright. And then after that, I would like request again. And then we can just select another product, say EE20. And then here I want to buy 90 pieces. Okay. So another thing that you can actually know from here is that we can actually select different vendors for different items in one purchase request. So here I can select here, let's say example, I want to buy MCOM, and we are done. Once, let's say example, this whole purchase request completed, all we just need to do is just press save, and then it's already saved in the system. So let's say now we go back to the purchase request summary screen, right click here. So if you look the recent purchase request here, you can see here approval user is blank. This is because my user or this user that I'm using right now don't have approval rights. So you need to get someone that has a approval rights access to come in here and approve the particular purchase request before it can be converted into a purchase order. So this is actually how easy it is to create a purchase request in AutoCount. Do let us know if you have a guide you would like us to cover in the future. Thanks.